Did it start? Is it, is it the light is flashing, it started. Oh, okay. Okay. Greetings, I'm Peter M. Juck, reporting for Minnesota Wildflowers Information News. I'm here tonight with Catherine Chaika, Katie Chaika, uh, who will introduce herself. Thank you. Okay, we're going. Hi, I'm Katie Chaika, and uh, I publish an online field guide to the plants of Minnesota, among other things. Uh, can you tell me why we are here? Uh, we are here because our main objective as an organization is to locate, photograph, and document all vascular plants known to be growing wild in Minnesota. Do you publish those as well? Yeah, we publish them on the web. Okay. Uh, were you here looking for plants? Yes, we were here looking specifically for a particular plant um, called Flatiantha dubia. And this is a species that I had never heard of before, but it was brought to my attention through a system called EDMAPS. That's E-D-D-M-A-P-S dot org. And that is a nationwide system for tracking weeds across the U.S. and Canada. And um, I am what they call a verifier um, because anybody can make a report in the system, but they want to make sure that the reports are all credible and verified so they have people like me who are skilled at plant identification to go through and, and make sure that the plants are good, the reports are good for these weeds. Oh, did, did, you, did you find it? Uh, yeah, we did. Um, and here it is right behind me. You can see that it's a vine and it has these heart-shaped leaves and these bell-shaped yellow flowers and it um, it climbs up other vegetation and into the trees and it's pretty leafy okay very nice that's that's a really big vine all right so uh, and has has it been found here before um, yeah, it was actually recorded in this location five years ago in 2013. And um, I had heard a, a rumor that um, it had been treated at the time and they thought that it was might have been eradicated, but that is apparently not the case. Okay, do you know, do you know if anything's being done about it now? Um, I, last I heard, um, and that was a, a week or two ago, was that... Uh, the uh, Washington Conservation District and some other agencies and experts were discussing treatment options for it and ways okay. to eradicate it successfully. Uh, is it anywhere else in the state right now? In the state, yes. Um, after we found this and saw how large the population was, uh, we posted it on our Facebook page and uh, asked people to let us know if they had seen it anywhere else, and we've gotten uh, confirmed reports now, uh, one from Sherburne County, one from Carver County, and uh, there, there's a probable one in Ottertail County, which was actually reported a year ago, but went kind of by the wayside and, and got lost track of, but we're trying to confirm that one now, too. Okay. Is it any other places in America? Um, to my well, North America. To my knowledge, it is uh, scattered in scattered locations in New England, uh, possibly Illinois. There is definitely some in Canada, and uh, now Minnesota is the one where it's being recorded uh, the most, I believe, at this time. Okay. Uh, well, I guess uh, you know this is an awfully uh, pretty plant, and uh, I guess that's kind of the end of the report. So, how far does it go in this park? It goes pretty far. Uh, we encountered it almost immediately upon entering. And so, so way down to that bend way down there, that, that, that's a wall of it down there. Yep, and there are walls of it uh, even farther down from that. And wow. it, it, it goes entirely down through, through this. Uh, the estimate was two to three acres is, is covered okay. by this plant now. Amazing, amazing. Okay, I guess we're going. Uh, can you tell us where we can get any more information on this? Well, we have um, written up and documented this species pretty thoroughly 
and published it on our website at www.minnesotawildflowers.info and just look for Manchu tuber gourd, which is the common name, or uh, golden, golden something. Golden, creeper. Golden creeper. That's, the, uh, that's another yeah. common name for it. Or Thladiantha dubia. Or if you can remember the Latin name, Thladiantha dubia, and you'll find it. Very good. Thank you.